Hello, Space Coast. Welcome to the News in 90 Seconds. I'm Rob Landers, bringing you some of today's top local stories. The National Hurricane Center is busy tracking five systems in the Atlantic Basin. The biggest concern to Florida and the U.S. is a disturbance in the Caribbean Sea, which could become a tropical depression later this week or over the weekend as it follows a path similar to Hurricane Helene, according to the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center. Check out the full story on floridatoday.com. The first cohort of dozens of Starcom Guardians are on the scene at Patrick Space Force Base, working to establish the fledgling military branch's space warfighting training hub by late 2025. In terms of economic impact, Starcom, a major Space Force command, will bring in about 350 personnel from across the nation to Patrick by 2026. Rick Neal brings you all the details at floridatoday.com. SpaceX has voluntarily suspended all Falcon 9 launches following Saturday's NASA Crew-9 mission launch. While Saturday's Falcon 9 rocket successfully took astronauts to orbit, the second or upper stage of the rocket suffered an anomaly after igniting its engine burn to re-enter the atmosphere. The second stage entered the ocean, but not where SpaceX had planned. Check out Brooke Edwards' full story on floridatoday.com. Not yet a subscriber? Unlock unlimited digital access to your best source for news and information on the Space Coast. Visit floridatoday.com slash subscribe. And that's 90 seconds. Thanks for watching.